And I think the biggest of my dreams was to have my own place and, <laughs> and eat two pieces of Meat. Ah, you every child's how? every child's dream, eh? <laughs> you know, every child's dream. So yeah. Top of the morning to you, Sibonmo, in the morning. Time now for a real hustler this morning. We are joined by Dr. Hendrina Unjombala, IUM director and CIIP student and customer liaison. So she's the person that you 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 talk to if you have any queries, well sometimes, uh regarding anything related to IUM. Now Andrina is an Namibian woman, a mother of three, based in Ventuk, and currently the director of student and customer liaison at the Univers International University of Management, uh, popularly known as IUM. Having obtained a doctorate in business administration from the University of Namibia, a master's of business administration from the Management College of Southern Africa, a bachelor of marketing management and national diploma in human resources management from the Polytechnic of Namibia, now known as the Namibia University of science and technology in addition whew, i need a breath hendrina has a mdp and a certificate in customer and centric centricity both from the university of stialenbosch stialis go uh, she is a strong believer in the power of positive thinking and purpose ikigai ikigai uh, developing a keen interest in the fields of psychology and has therefore completed a diploma in psychology and short courses in mental health and wellness dr hendrina is there anything that you don't want to do like you're going to be taking over the world soon good morning good morning <laughs> thank you so much for joining us uh, we, we really 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 appreciate you uh, taking time out of what i can only imagine is a busy uh, busy schedule at, uh, for being our royal hustler this morning now getting into it uh, tell us a bit about your childhood um you know were you a hair raiser did your parents have problems with you or were you just a <laughs> sweet little girl growing up um, I think I was, uh, I had a normal childhood. Right. I think I was a typical child with uh, typical childlike problems. Um, I wasn't very naughty. I was very shy. Um, but I was raised uh, in Katatura, born and raised here in Ventuk, in Katatura. Um, I lived with my parents and my siblings. I was the only girl for quite a very long time, so I, I was a typical tomboyish. Uh, so I remember at some point my mom enrolled me in uh, modeling classes just to, to bring the girlish side out of me. Um, but I had a typical childhood where we were chased by dogs there in the streets of Katatura, playing haysikis and having pluck books and so a typical childhood that shaped me into the person that I am today by uh, making sure that I worked hard. I work hard for everything that, that I want. Nothing came um, to me as a child on a silver platter. And, and, and I think that really, really helped to, to shape the person that I am today. Uh, absolutely gorgeous, uh, uh, Doctor. You know, growing up, what was some of your biggest dreams? Like, what did you, what did you want to aspire to? What did you aspire to uh, when you're running the streets of Katatura, as it were? <laughs> Well, my parents growing up were quite strict. So as a child, I wanted to live freely and on my own terms and to be able to afford everything I want. And I think the biggest of my dreams was to have my own place and, <laughs> and eat two pieces of Meat. Ah, uh, every, you know every child's dream, eh? <laughs> you know, every child's dream. So yeah. that, I think, was my biggest dream yeah. to, 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 to encourage me to work hard. So career-wise, I wanted to be a teacher. And I think present day, I'm doing all three of those things in my own perspective. Eating two pieces of meat. I am eating two pieces oh, okay, of that's meat good, in that's my good. house. <laughs> that's good, that's in good. In my house. <laughs> and uh, I, I have moved into the, into the field of academia. Right. So I'm basically kind of leaving my dream and mm. doing all the things that I wanted, I'm living on my own terms as, 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 as a woman, a right. Namibian woman, and as, as an individual. So I, I, I think in my, in my own perspective, I'm actually um, uh, leaving all this. Right. And I think my biggest dream growing up as a child, I wanted to work hard so that I can pay back my parents', uh, 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 my parents sacrifices 
but you know, as a child, in reality, our dreams change over time. But as long as one keeps being consistent as to what you want to achieve, to a certain degree, you align whatever it is you do. Whether it's uh, when you go study, you basically go back in track, go back on the track that that realigns with your childhood dream. So I basically am kind of doing some of those uh, things right now. Doctor, when you wake up every morning, when you woke up this morning, when you woke up last uh, yesterday, uh, what what sets your heart on fire? What, what motivates you on a daily basis? I believe that... Um, if you wake up in a day without, without a goal or without an aim for that particular day, you might as well go back to sleep. Wow. So my daily goals are always to be a better version of myself. Uh, that motivates me to always go above and beyond every day in my life. And mm. that's why I'm a keen, I have, I developed a keen interest in the concept, the Ikigai, which is a Japanese concept, right. um, which, which talks about purpose. Right. What makes you wake up every day besides the alarm clock mm. that we normally snooze? Yes, I snooze uh, mine like three <laughs> times this morning. So I think... Basically, is the fact that I have purpose in life. Right. I know what it is I want to achieve. And every day, I, I believe, presents me with an opportunity to mm. do better, to be better, and to really, it's a, it's a step closer to what I want to achieve. And that in itself motivates me to get up every day, um, to go out there and, 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 and be my best self. Um, I also believe that if you don't sacrifice for your dreams uh, by waking up, every single day motivated, then your dreams become a sacrifice in itself. I, yeah, I feel like the doctor is eating me, Sibo. Uh, I don't know how <laughs> I feel about that. Uh, we're going to go to a quick musical break for me to di digest uh, all of that from two pieces of meat to really, really living and walking into her purpose. Dr. Hendrina Unjumbala is our royal hustler this morning. Harry Styles saying watermelon sugar. Watermelon sugar. Harry Styles saying watermelon sugar, Sibo's favorite jam, for reasons that I am familiar with. If if uh, if you don't know, well, you better ask somebody. Now we continue our conversation with Dr. Hendrina Ujombala, who is the IUM director, CIIP, student and customer liaison. She was just talking to us earlier on about eating two pieces of meat, but more importantly, living in your purpose and the concept of Ikigai. Beautiful, beautiful concept. If you don't know that concept, do yourself a favor, Google it, get books on it. Doctor, you know, let's look at your earlier, uh, some of your earlier influences in, in your life, you know, um, and also those that you've had along the way, th those that have shaped the woman uh, that you are today, both professionally and personally. All right. I think um, I'm not really going to give you specific experiences or specific um, individualized items that influence, but, uh, but I would say this, that every thing, each and everything in life uh, influenced me. Everything that I've gone through, all my experiences. If I look back today, I see that I'm the product of things that happened to me throughout my life. My fears, my strengths, my habits, my failures, my mistakes, my accomplishments, they all shape the way that I think and the way that I, 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 I look at things in life. And, and each and every experience that I had has benefited me in one way or another, regardless whether it's a good experience or a bad experience. So I think each and every experience, and one other thing that I believe so, so close to my heart is that every person that I met along the way up to where I am now has to a certain degree influenced and, and, and had an impact in my life and shaped me into the person that I am today. Doctor, I, I'm listening to you speak, and I realize that you, you're so aligned with what we do here at 99. You're so inspirational. You, you don't want to maybe, you know, we can get you a desk and put it, like, right there, <laughs> right next to Sibo. Uh, look, before we let you go, um, any life or career advice you would like to share with our listeners? If there are young women and young men uh, listening to us right now, what is that one or two things that you'll tell them? You know, sometimes... Um when we give advice or when we give um, uh, career advice, sometimes we always end up sounding like a cliche, you yeah. know, like it's too obvious when we say, uh, enjoy what you do. But it's a cliche for a reason, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but in reality, 
choose a job that you love and you will probably never have to work a day in your life because you wake up every day living your purpose, living your dream. So I think for me, some of the advice that I would share to our listeners career-wise is to choose a job that you love. And initially, when we graduate from university, we don't always get the job that, that we studied for or in the same line of, of what, we, what we graduated, the qualifications that we have. But I always believe that to a certain degree, you will find something, you will find your niche within that area and build on that, strengthen that. Um, be intentional. This one is my f- favorite, and I think I, I'm intentional in everything right. I do. Yeah. Be intentional in being good at everything you do. Right. And believe you me, in the end, life is fair. If you're really good, be so good that no one can ignore you. And yes. and, and and I think that your work will speak for, your, mm. for itself, you know. And also do things without really being worried as to who is getting the credit. Because I think sometimes we do things only when people are watching. It's true. But when you're intentional, you're also okay with doing things, even when people are doing the best, even when people are not watching. This also might sound like a small thing, but just be willing to work hard. This has a powerful impact mm. on, on our ability to grow our careers, working hard. Nothing mm. comes easy for anyone. And as young people, we should never underestimate the power of mentorship. Yeah. Find someone that really inspires you and, 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 and take them up as a mentor. I think mentorship is also something that we really don't, uh, don't put emphasis on, but right. we really should not underestimate the power of mentorship. And, and lastly, never ever settle for just good enough. Um, if you want to be successful in your career, you really have to commit to continuous self improvement. Mm. It's never you you never uh, you never have enough knowledge. There's always something out there to learn. Yes. So learn from people. Read a book. Uh, read as much as you can and try as much as possible to learn from every interaction that that you have. I'm currently reading this book that I brought with to the studio on, yeah. uh, by Robert Sharma, uh, Being Extraordinary. My dear listeners, I would, I would really, really say go out there and get this book. This is a wonderful book, right. a wonderful book. And one quote I will share with you from Robert Sharma's book is, Wear Shiny Shoes, he says. Which simply means that being intentional about the way you do the little things says a great deal about how you're going to do the big things. You know mm. that, that saying that if you can handle small money, for yeah. example, how do I trust you with millions big, right. or how do I trust you with big things? Right. So Robin Sharma says wear shiny shoes because it just it says a lot about how you do the little things. Mm. Uh, the way you do the little things says a whole lot about how you're going to do the, the big, big things. things. Doctor? Thank you so, so, so much. This has been quite an inspiration. Thank you for having me. That was uh, Dr. Hendrina Unjombala, the IUM Director of a CIIP and a Student and Customer Liaison Officer. She is a strong believer in the power of positive thinking and purpose, uh, Ikigai, uh, developing a keen interest in the fields of psychology and has therefore completed a diploma in psychology and short courses in mental health and wellness studies, amongst many, many other accomplishments. That was our Royal Hustler. Royal Hustlers was proudly brought to you by Namdep Diamond Corporation. Good today, better tomorrow.